So, as you know, um, you know, so <laughs> Kamala Harris, of course, is VP, uh, potential VP now. And uh, they're not going to change a damn thing when they, a uh, goddamn thing when they get in there. And, and you know, they're really not going to do anything for progressives. I know that people like one of my good friends just say, oh, yeah, they'll definitely do something because, you know, they're, they're going to help progressives. I mean, they have to. Whatever. And no, no way, in no way imaginable. In no stretch of the imagination can you be like by no by no by, by no stretch of the imagination can you be like yes they're absolutely progressive I mean you'd be a fool to think that you know um, now I know we were watching this uh, Crystal Ivelis clip together uh, uh, Donald Trump must be a fan of uh, of Kamala I know he's trashing her now but he must be a big fan don't you think. It's okay. All these guys are entertainers, and they can change their word from day to day. But you know, ultimately, they're all they're all friends. They're all part of this club, this elite, um, you know, plutocracy where they all hang out with each other and sip wine together, Chardonnay, which is probably something higher quality than Chardonnay. I don't know what they drink. I... But the point of the matter is, yeah, of course they they uh, they uh, could, buddies. could um, fight in front of us, but they smile. They smile uh, to each other in private. Right. So let's talk about 2011 to 2014. Uh, Kamala Harris is uh, going to be attorney general. <clears throat> uh, Ivanka Trump is definitely donating to her. Donald Trump is. But then 2014, Donald Trump's not the Republican nominee yet. He's not even running for president. Although, come on, he was talking about it. Uh, he, as Chris Ivalis said, was the leader of the birther movement. And um, against Barack Obama. And Donald Trump found enough money in his pocket, along with Ivanka, to donate to Kamala Harris in 2014 when she was going for attorney general. Uh, I'm speechless. What do you think? And see, the thing is, what makes this even more hilarious is um, this is no dark money pack type structure. No, they donated directly to Kamala's campaign and they maintained uh, what what was expected of them as per campaign finance laws, as we guess campaign finance laws are here in this country. But, um, you know, they, they followed the rules. They went on the record as donating to Kamala Harris directly to her campaign. And, you know, that begs the question... Why? Yeah, and um, now so Crystal Ivelis kind of makes uh, two points here. Number one, this could hurt Trump because you can say whatever you want, how horrible she is, how terrible she is. She's a goddamn left winger. She's this, she's that. But you donated to her, Trump. Why'd you donate to her, right? That's the question that you just asked. Why did you donate, right? This could hurt them because it's like, wait, are you going back on your word? Are you actually a left winger Trump? But I don't think that's the case. I think what they're going to say is, oh, my God. This means and this is the way it could actually help Trump and hurt Biden is, oh, my God, they're both right wing Democrats. That's why he picked her. So why are we going to vote for two right wing Democrats when we could just vote for the right wing? Right now, uh, I'm going to speed this up a little. So let me get some iPad here. Uh, so, um, you know, you got a. You got good old Trump and Ivanka. Now, they are against any person prosecuting uh, white-collar crime. And they would do anything, anything to make sure that their white-collar crime is protected. So, uh, they donated thousands and thousands of dollars. Donald Trump donates in 2014. And, uh, Naeem, you know he's, he's an international businessman. He doesn't just do things in New York. Yeah, he's all over the world. He's got things in the Arab, in the Arab countries, in the Arab Gulf, and in the United Arab Emirates, and in in um, other parts of the Middle East. He's got he's got hotels in Europe. He's got items in California. <clears throat> he's got business interests in California. So you gotta you gotta take the precaution. You gotta do the just in case, right? Right. So now here's the thing. Crystal Ivola said. Um, Donald Trump did it and Ivanka Trump donated because Trump has got business dealings in California. And if he ever got sued or faced any problem, he wants to make sure that people are friendly to him and his business. And I think any rich person would do that. I really do. And I, I regard it. Just in case. Yeah, you, you have right. to do it just in case. You don't know what's going to happen. 
Exactly. You could do something stupid and then all of a sudden someone comes after your ass. And I mean, look, I think every rich person does it, regardless if the AG is, is Republican or Democrat. It's why they're picked, because they're all backed by establishment donors and corporate donors, although we're seeing a tide against that. And, you know, so Donald Trump donates to her because, oh, my God, I want to make sure that I have a friendly attorney general in California that if I end up in court, I want to make sure she's as friendly to me as possible. Um, so that I don't get prosecuted. I don't get sued. I don't have to pay nothing. Or if I have to, maybe almost zero, right? And guess what? She was, she was friendly to corporate interests. She was very soft on white collar crime while being very tough on blue collar crime. Exactly. You know, we, we talked about Steve Mnuchin in One West Bank. Right. So and how uh, she sort of just turned a blind eye. And now Mnuchin is... Trump's Treasury Secretary. Secretary. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry to interrupt because, you know, FaceTime lags sometimes. But, uh, you know, that's what Trump likes. Tough on crime, okay? I like him because he's tough on crime. Not tough on white collar crime. Oh, no, 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 no. Tough on... Um, the tough on, on the working class, the blue collar, the single mom, the dad, that poor kid People on the street. Right, that that black guy, the black guy just trying to feed his family, you know, those guys, th- those people, those are who Trump wants her to be tough on. That that's who Trump wants, and someone who's soft on white white uh, white collar crime, and uh, tough on blue collar crime. Yeah. So if you're rich, you have to be friendly to the man in the suit and tie, the white man who's probably seventy years old sipping cognac, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, so if you're white, upper middle class, and sometimes even white lower class, but white, upper middle class, or just upper class in general, and you're rich, well, by all means, we got to be good to you. We do. Yes. It's necessary. But if you're a black kid on the street, exactly, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, scratch my, you know, badukas, you do mine too. And... The biggest thing is, if you're a black kid just trying to make it in this world, doing a petty, tiny little crime that Joe Biden created in the crime bill that wasn't a crime years ago, you get prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But you're a white-collar worker. You don't get that. What was that? I said, with Joe Biden's new laws, you'll be prosecuted by Kamala Harris. (laughs) She'll be in charge of the crime bill retention um, center. <laughs> you know, the, the crime bill. Committee. Yeah, yeah, the crime bill oversight committee. That's the thing is. Um, the Trumps donated to her because Kamala Harris is tough on blue collar crime. People like me and you maybe having an ounce of weed on us. Maybe we signed a counterfeit check or something. I don't know, just something small. And then these guys sell CDOs, credit default applica- obligations, and Kamala's like, I, I swear I, ice cream was, I, I left this file. Huh, did, did, I, did I ignore that? Gee, oh God, I wish I could have prosecuted him. <laughs> right, she just leaves it alone. Cause, well, statutes of limitations, right? <laughs> right, oh my God, if this would have come to me yesterday, it's tomorrow now. I, I couldn't have done it, you know. I, I, I maybe I could have done something, you know. If she came to me yesterday at two o'clock, if it, it hit, if it hit three thirty, it was over. It's okay. I'm gonna go listen to my Snoop Dogg Tupac smoke some weed. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So that is how Trump donated to Kamala Harris because he wanted a friendly attorney general for when he came down and was being sued in California. And that just proves that Kamala Harris is tough on blue collar crime, people like me and you, but she lets the rich get away with, with whatever they like. Congratulations, you, you, you know, dumbasses who support Kamala Harris. Yeah, let me tell you all a little secret about rich folks I've realized. They have a tendency of planning for the future, thinking ahead, laying the track works down for the future. So I think, you know, in 2014 and 2011, 
uh, Donald and Ivanka were just thinking, well, we don't know what's going to happen in the future for our business interests in California. And let's make sure we line the pockets. And in any other era, this would be described as blatant corruption, right? I mean, obviously, they they followed the laws. Trump followed the laws for once in his life. Um, <laughs> they followed the laws. And they went through the legal procedures of campaign finance law. But ultimately, uh, that's that's corruption. I mean, there's you could make it legal. Basically, after Richard Nixon had um, resigned in disgrace in 1974, the decision amongst the corporatist establishment types in the Republican Party, and much later, uh, around the time of Bill Clinton in the Democrat Party as well, had decided, okay, how can we do what what Richard Nixon did without having it be classified as illegal? How can we get away with all of this kind of shit like Richard Nixon did? Oh, pardon. I don't know if I'm supposed to curse no, you're here. You're good. You're good. I curse every day on this. You're good. I... So how do we get away with all of that Richard Nixon style bullshit without getting in trouble and being disgraced the way Richard Nixon was? And that's why Gerald Ford subsequently pardoned Nixon. So these laws are put, these laws are on the books. So the common the commoner, the typical everyday American, wouldn't think, oh my gosh, Donald Trump committed committed fraud by donating to Kamala Harris. No, we all think he followed the laws, it's the laws on the books, so it's not corruption, right? Mm-hmm. And we're not going to look at Kamala Harris and say, oh man, did she just um, did she just accept bribery, basically, or blackmail with my money. So, financial blackmail. So, I think this is going to really hurt Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and Trump to a degree. Trump's going to look like a hypocrite. That's all that's going to happen to Trump. But it's going to hurt Kamala and Biden in that the progressives won't be able to trust them, won't be able to trust Kamala. It's not like we did before, but there was a little glimmer of hope when she uh, co-sponsored a relief bill with Sanders and Ed Markey when she uh, added her name to the Medicare for All bill. But this just shows us the backbone of who she is and the roots and establishment and platform of her whole political career. So no, we can't trust Kamala Harris. And of course, we can't trust the right-wing Democrat known as Joe Biden. He might as well be a moderate Republican. He's to the right of John Kasich, and in some ways to the right of Trump. 